Hope you're having a great day, everyone. Uh, I'm with our patron, St. Augustine, and I'd like to begin with a question. And the question is, for what do you pray? And why do you pray for it? We hear in the wisdom literature from our first reading that the man prayed for prudence. Now, prudence is a value. And that value has transcending joy. However, a lot of times we get caught up in that which doesn't bring us transcending joy. And so he makes the comparison between Lady Wisdom and his relationship to Lady Wisdom as greater than any office, which is fleeting, which is greater than gold and silver, which is fleeting, which is greater than any possession that could be had. It seems, therefore, in the gospel that Jesus reinforces that when the man comes to him and asks him, what do I do? And Jesus gave him a list of commands that we're all very familiar with. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not covet. And in that list, what Jesus is inviting us to do is engage not in relationships with things or persons that are fleeting and selfish, and based on an individual need. Rather, to base those relationships on prudence and wisdom and finding joy in the beauty of those relationships. In the end, what Jesus challenges the man to do is something most of us probably could not bear doing because it really takes you beyond any and all things that are fleeting and transitory. He invites him to sell all of his possessions and give them to the poor and follow him. Now, my sisters and my brothers, I have a long way to go on that, and possibly you do too. But what I know I can grow in is more prudent and wise relationships based on the transcendent values of Jesus Christ. Have a great week.